I told you that wind power went up by about a factor of 10 in 11 years. Solar power, with policy support, but also with that incredible exponential price decline, has gone up by a factor of 100 in 13 years. That is an exponential growth of this technology. In fact, as you know, if you take an exponential plot and you put it on a log scale, it gets a straight line. So here's what that looks like for solar. This is a log scale on the left, the amount of solar deployed, and on this log scale, it's a straight line. This is an exponential process, growing at about 30 35% per year. And the price is going to keep coming down. As we scale out young industries, we get lower and lower prices. In fact, if you look at the price of solar, not over time, but over scale of the industry, the, the horizontal axis here is how much solar has been deployed, you see this smooth exponential price decline. And so we have every reason to expect that's going to continue. Those prices will keep falling, and that will be hugely disruptive. <clears throat> now, solar and wind together, with no energy storage at all, can probably provide 70-80% of the U.S.'s electricity. The sun shines during the day, wind blows more at night, the sun shines more in summer, it's windier in the winter, but at some point you need to get to energy storage as well. And this is one of my very favorite sectors because the innovation has happened so rapidly here. You all know who this guy is, right? Tony Stark? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to blow his secret identity. Here's Elon announcing the Tesla Powerwall. Some of you might have seen this announcement. Uh, in the first week uh, after this announcement, Tesla got about $1 billion in pre-orders for this battery system. Okay? That's the scale of this. Now, the funny thing is, Tesla doesn't actually even make that battery. It's actually a Panasonic battery that has Tesla branding outside of it. It's a great way for them to leverage their channel, and Elon's also the chairman of SolarCity, so they can get it out to there. What's happening here is not that Tesla had some radical sudden breakthrough. It's a long history of exponential progress in this sector. Over the last 20 years or so, the amount of energy you can store per gram of lithium ion battery has gone up by a factor of three because of competition among these devices. And the cost of energy storage of lithium ion batteries has dropped by about a factor of 10. In fact, this slide's already out of date. The trends in the last two years alone have made me uh, now a little tardy in updating this. But what this means is that now, if you look uh, at a home in Germany, for instance, which is not all that sunny, the data says that with a small solar array and a battery half the size of the Tesla Powerwall, these homes in the summer months can provide 70% of their own electricity needs. So what does that mean if you're a utility and your customer suddenly cuts their need for your product by a factor of four? That's not very good. It definitely requires a change in business model. And for that reason, we see utilities now really scrambling. But that's the home scenario. 90% of Tesla's pre-orders were actually at for this product, which is the utility and commercial scale product. And they're, uh, they're not alone. You have many companies. Trina Solar is a company outside of Shanghai. They're the world's number one creators of uh, manufacturers of PV, of solar panels. And this is their container-sized battery. I've been inside of this. This powers a neighborhood, or it powers an industrial park, or it helps a utility deal with the fluctuations of energy demand over the course of the day. And in these scenarios, there's quite a number of business models. One of those is arbitrage of energy prices. Energy prices are cheapest at night and highest during the day. Because of the day, there's higher demand. So if you look in California, for instance, that differential is about 20 cents per kilowatt hour. And guess what? The batteries we have today cost less than that. So now there's an arbitrage opportunity, and almost every battery startup I know is going after this as their first business model.